Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of my channel. S stay tuned for more. Since testing the water deluge systems yesterday SpaceX conducted an important test to gauge the Super Heavy Booster 9's pumps and turbines well this will be the opening for a series of tests. Before, its static fire test and eventual launch preparing for the next Starship flight. After the Starship's Super Heavy Booster had started vending out its propellants earlier it lasted for roughly 12 seconds and saw plumes of cold propellants surging from the bottom of the rocket as it appeared that SpaceX had tested several engines on its rockets to ensure that their performance would be up to the mark. When it comes time for the second Starship orbital test flight this test called a spin prime test sees the rocket gush super cool propellants from its engines as they are pumped out without ignition. The previous Starship booster which was destroyed during a flight back on April 20th also ran a similar test and it came with some fireworks that saw a large fireball light up at its bottom. However, space has learned from experience this time and during this test, fire composed of water and nitrogen is first triggered to disperse gases and prevent any unintended ignitions much like the one that occurred. SpaceX teams will now analyze data from the test and move to the launch pad. Since the integrated test flight in April of 2023 the static fire test could come as soon as next week upgrades to the Raptor engines are one of the most important on the Starship vehicle. After the first flight attempt in April while most attention during the test was focused on the world's largest rocket doing cartwheels and the air Starship's engines continued to turn off as it ascended. After liftoff the engine which powers the rocket SpaceX's Raptor version 2 is a big upgrade over the Merlin engines that power the Falcon 9 regarding its thrust fuel efficiency and cleaning capability and no don't expect it to be in a made outfit. While the Merlin engines use kerosene or RP-1 which causes carbon buildup inside the engines the Raptor's fuel of choice methane is a clean burn that leads to easier to maintain engines this maintenance is crucial. Since SpaceX has big plans for Starship that involve dozens of launches to fill up orbital fuel depots and conduct other missions. Another crucial upgrade and perhaps the most important is the hot staging ring that SpaceX will add to the top of the Super Heavy Booster this piece is important. Since it will protect the top of the Super Epic Booster from the exhaust. Plume and forces from the second stage engines as they light up for stage. Separation the upgrade is crucial come from the second Starship test flight will see the second stage spacecraft's engines fire up to jettison away from the booster. During the April launch, the first test article for the hot staging appears to be in the final stages of development. Whether SpaceX discards it or builds a new one is unknown but the firm should test it for compression strength to ensure that it can bear the forces of a rocket pushing on it from both the top and the bottom in the end all of this is impressive. From SpaceX's Starship here is hoping for a launch by mid-August, however, before Starship can even be hoped to launch SpaceX has to go through everything that happened during the April launch with the FAA to ensure all systems are ready to launch the world's largest rocket. Once again but don't worry about all that and hold onto your seats because the cosmos just got a whole lot closer. And that's all for today's episode, we hope you enjoyed it and learned, please subscribe and don't forget to like. Today's video, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. By the way, are you familiar Talk Talk Philippines app? Talk Talk is a delivery service app designed to connect more people by delivering items door to door. For more information, download the Talk Talk app here down below.